and then um, make sure I kill this guy over here. Get close because the thieves are fast. They're getting faster now. Again, Murtaugh would have been extremely great for this battle. These guys would have been dead already, the both of them probably. But I was able to take care of them pretty fast. Now the game's going to start to get a little harder here. Um, and the thieves are going to get a lot more trickier. Remember, if one gets away, my game's over. My perfect score is done. And do not kill an innocent bystander. As you saw back there, that person that was in the um, with the handkerchief over the mouth, you need to make sure that you do not kill that pedestrian. If you do, it doesn't matter how many points you have. They're all fucking gone. And then you got to start over. That happened to me the other night. See, Riggs can get up there, Murtaugh can't. But Murtaugh's punch is so deadly, and it comes in handy right here for this next segment. Because you got friggin' um, the Gooch here from friggin' uh, Different Strokes here trying to kill you. And without, without uh, Murtaugh, it would have been hard to get some of those thieves out of the way. And they start coming out like crazy really here shortly. But see, for kicks, it's not good to kill the guys in the manholes with Murtaugh. He's not tough enough. So... But see, Murtaugh can pick up those blocks, Riggs can't. It's a very strange game. Um, obviously, both characters are needed. This is where you could really screw up coming up right here, really get fucked up quick and really lose a lot of points if you're not quick. This is where um, more Gooches come out. I don't know why I call them the Gooch, but that's what they look like to me. And uh, a lot of these red little uh, thief guys come out, and they can get away really easily. Even though it looks like I'm making it look easy, it's really not. They could come out and sneak behind you. It's very random sometimes this game. Um, my old uh, world uh, title score, which I've held this score now for about a year, uh, first ever to submit a score even on the damn game because it's so darn difficult. I um, had a score of 596,200. I thought 602, 200 was a perfect score, but when I discovered that I missed one manhole also, which actually me and D. Tyson here both missed one of them because we both have basically the same score. I had 596, 200, he had 595. So I discovered an extra manhole, which was the last and final manhole because I went back and looked at the tapes and watched what I did wrong. And I made sure I got that. And the perfect score was 602,700. But uh, if you get anywhere from 595, seven, uh, sorry, uh, 602,700. But if you can get anywhere from 595 and up, you're doing pretty good. I mean, to miss only six guys in the whole entire game is pretty impressive. That's what I did on my first uh, run when I submitted it as a world uh, title. But um, I knew that somebody was going to come after this eventually, and I knew I needed to get better, and I knew the time was now. You hold a score for a year, you know you got somebody out there, some foe that don't like you that wants your score, so you have to be ready. There's a lot of scores I haven't taken back yet or even worked on for a while. I wanted to perfect a lot of my old scores before I started concentrating on basketball and everything else. Right now I need to worry about this stuff. Um, you know, little by little. Now the game gets progressively harder here, I think, because this stage used to be a nightmare for me. But, you know, it's more to it than getting a maxed out score killing all the enemies and the thieves. Like I said, if you mess up with the pedestrian or the pedestrian gets killed before you get to it, you're done. Game's over. Your run's finished. Um, right here, you definitely need both characters at one point or another. These guys get really tough as the game progresses. They're pretty tough now but I pretty much know how to handle them. You want to stay lower than them in the beginning and work your way up to kicking them, because if you try to just fight them face to face right off the bat, they're gonna shoot you down and, or grenade you down and knock your energy off real fast, especially in later stages. Eventually though, your kicks and punches become very weak towards these guys. These guys seem to get stronger as the game gets progresses. I mean, they're the same, you know, they're the same little enemy, but yet they do the same thing. And remember, don't pick up an E every time you see it unless you absolutely need it. And what I mean by that is, of course you always need, want to pick it up. But what you may want to do is put one guy off the screen, bring the other guy in to grab that E, and then him go back off the screen and you keep going. Because if your energy's full, why waste the fucking E? E for energy, right? That would be stupid. We've all done it. I've done it. It's the same thing with the bulletproof vest. You don't always want to use the bulletproof vest because you get it. You may want to have the other guy go off screen with the bulletproof vest. You know, the nice thing about this game that I've noticed, you heal faster too when you go off the screen as the game progresses because the game gets a lot harder. 
and gets to the point where you could die real easily. Right in the beginning of a stage, even, if, for that matter, if, if you don't play the cards right. These helicopters are easy now if you know how to kill them like I am, but they get ridiculously hard later in, in the game. They take a lot more hits, and you won't be able to get up on top of a ledge and kick them either. More uh, Gooch's here. Here's another innocent bystander. One mistake, you jump too hard or something, you hit that bystander, you lose all your points. I've done it a bunch of times. As you can see, though, I used mostly rigs uh, for the first uh, half of this game, but Murtaugh, Murtaugh will be used uh, soon here, too. Um, so, once you hear the bell, you know, that's when you want to get off the screen and get your other guy. It doesn't matter, even if the other guy's ideal. Like right now, I'm taking the bulletproof vest. Now, I'm, I'm gambling it because I feel that my level is much better than I am too good to not take a chance here. So what I do, obviously, I kill those three guys and get my energy up a little bit. Sometimes you have to take chances. To be the champion of the world, you have to take chances. A lot of people, you know, used to tell me I play stupid, you know, take your time and stuff. That was, uh, that was my thing back in the day. I did not take my time on a lot of things. I still don't really now, but I got a lot better over the years. But I can tell you, yes, take your time in a game. If you're going for a perfect score, there's no reason to go as crazy as other people. So now I'm going to go off screen, because I'm not good enough, obviously, to get out of that. And why would I even try, right? Don't want to play this game again. Now, I took a risk there with uh, Murtaugh. Okay, those thieves could have easily jumped on top of the truck and took off, and Murtaugh would not be able to catch them. Keep in mind that they do jump on top of the truck sometimes. It's very random. Right now, so far, I've got the perfect score. I've made mistakes in this level, too. Not right here, per se. But... They can get away pretty easily, if you allow them to. I don't understand my camera either. I just fully charged it, and it's already down one bar. What have we been talking, for 17 minutes? You know, stay away from those grenades, I mean, at all costs. I mean, they take off bars really fast, and as the game progresses, it gets worse. But see, you need Murtai here, because there's a lot of little thieves coming out. And as long as you, usually, as long as you stand right there, you're okay. Not always, though. I'll leave the E there. Come back with the, uh, what do you call it? Riggs. Get him filled back up. Use him right now. Make sure there's nothing in the manholes. I always do, even though I know there's not. I'm oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize the display was on at the bottom, too. I get that off for you. There you go. Always try to stay under the guys. That's the most important thing. Obviously, as you can see, as the game progressed, I can no longer just use jump kicks to kill an enemy. They take a lot more hits. And they'll even take more hits as the game goes along. Sometimes you want to find extra stuff. Now I need to go get uh, Murtaugh because there's more little uh, guys coming out. First, I need to kill the guy to get the innocent bystander back from the gooch and stand right there, and usually that'll take care of them. They do sometimes go around you and slip over. I was very lucky to get this far in the game so far with a perfect score. Believe me, there's been times in the first two stages where I've lost a guy, meaning I've lost a, you know, a, a, um, a thief and gotten away. So, anything can happen. They get a little tricky here. There's going to be two uh, Stevie Wonder guys over here. Because you know that's darn well what they look like, you know? Definitely looked that way. He obviously wasn't calling to say I love you, though. He was obviously uh, trying to shoot me, saying he wants me dead. So, yep. And there's uh, Stevie Wonder's twin down there. Don't be fooled by blind people. As you can see, they shoot darn well for somebody who can't see. Never uh, underestimate a blind person. They're very skilled and uh, they can do just as much as we can, if not more in some cases. A lot of people don't realize that. They can video game too. I've seen it with my own eyes. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so now I took care of the Stevie Wonders. There's more Stevie Wonders. 